I'm just saying if they don't want you to eat the silica packet, they should stop putting it in the bag of beef jerky. Wait, 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 it's very important. What does Tezande say in the video where he uh, doesn't realize that he's got doubled audio? And we are live here tonight on Tezande Games, January 30th, 2015. 2015. He says a lot. It goes on for like an hour. I thought he said something like, um, and we are live, and we are live, and we are live, and we are live, and we are live. My ass feels like Owen Pallet right now. Cody Rigsby ride today? How did you... People are uh, data mining my Peloton rides. How'd you know there was a, Pelot, uh, a Cody Rigsby ride this morning? I'll tell you how you knew there was a, Peloton, a Cody Rigsby Peloton ride this morning. Because he released one. If Cody Rigsby releases a Peloton ride, I am taking it within 48 hours. I am very much over my parasocial arc as a human being. Because I've realized that my favorite... Cody Riggs or my favorite Peloton instructors, I don't think that I would um, get along with them in real life, but they make my favorite classes. Like, I don't necessarily think Cody Rigsby and I would, would be friends in real life. I think he would consider me too low energy, but he's, he probably programs my favorite Peloton rides. You mean Sam Yo is not my friend? I don't think Sam Yo and I would get along in real Well, listen, I don't think we would be enemies. But he seems like a big dork. It seems like he's always, he's, he's like super into Star Wars and musicals and like he loves Grogu. Sure, I've got Grogu as my profile icon on Disney Plus, but like for the most part, I pretend to watch Criterion Collection movies instead. But they program great classes. I don't think I would get along with Bradley Rose either, but he's got some great playlists sometimes. Every once in a while, though, on a Bradley Rose ride, he'll just be like, I don't like Gen Z. And I'm like, brother, they didn't do anything. Thinking when the most recent Bradley Rose ride I took, he said something like, just ask Gen Z to find something without a GPS. I don't like this Gen Z. I'm like, why would you ever try to find something without a GPS in the modern era? That's like, you know, being a scuba diver and, and eschewing the use of an oxygen tank. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, let me guess, you're going to use a hammer to drive that nail into the board? Back when I was a carpenter, we just used a big rock. But then I also, you know, I recognize that over the course of like a five-hour stream, sometimes I say stupid things when I'm not really paying attention. So that plus like, you know, cardiovascular exercise, meaning you don't get as much oxygen to your brain, means that maybe you don't always have the best banter. So I'm not, I'm not being a hater. I still take a Bradley Rose ride. I mean, I took a Jen Sherman ride today. That didn't even make any sense to me. It was Big Ten Appreciation Ride. What the hell is the Big Ten? I know it has Rutgers, Ohio State University, Wisconsin University, Purdue, Illinois, Indiana, Northwestern. Is Northwestern University not in, like, Seattle? That's the most Northwestern state that matters. No disrespect, Alaska. It's in Chicago? That's not, that's Midwestern. They should call it Midwestern College. But it was founded when Chicago was West. Oh, no, we can't change the name. We got all these plaques. We got all these plaques. Think of how big our plaque bill will be if we redo all the plaques. It was Midwest, it was Northwest in the 19th century. Well, I hope you're still learning about how to build like a steam engine and the cotton gin. Western universities in London, Ontario. Bro, I hate Western. I went to Queens. We're so, we have a rivalry. As two, um, one tier below the top Ontario universities. We have to hate each other. By the way, I hereby renounce. Um, I will never play a hard video game ever again. Tape to tape is an exception because it's hockey. I am ne I'm entering my Candy Crush arc. Have you talked about the Coyotes? Dude, I feel bad. I... Someone asked, what's the poverty franchise in the NHL? I said the Coyotes with no disrespect. But like the fact that they're playing in like a college arena with 5,000 seats because they couldn't pay rent on their big arena was like, it's, it's kind of humorous. But then they had a referendum in Tempe, Arizona to build a new stadium. 
and the votes were like 61% no, 39% yes. So like the team doesn't even know what it's doing anymore. I don't know if they have to, if, if they're going to explore moving or if they, you're absolutely right. They chose a, a garbage dump over the stadium based. I mean, like you, you need some place to dump your garbage. Don't get me wrong. Whole city is hot garbage. Hi, yo. I don't know much about Arizona, honestly. Well, I, I don't know much about Tempe. I know that Arizona is really hot. I know that it has some of the fastest population growth in America because it's like a haven for octogenarians, which is fine. They're people too. Would you be down for an Oregon hockey team? Honestly, like you're going to say that this is home country bias, but this Southern Ontario region should ha just have a second team. I don't know if it's actually like the, the Leafs are fighting against it because it would take some of their market share. But they can definitely, they could even just have like, I wouldn't mind, a Quebec City team would also be fine. But they could literally just have Toronto too. They, they could have the, the Lakers and the Clippers, okay? It could be the Toronto Maple Leafs and then the Toronto like Acorns or something like that. It would be totally fine. Don't put them in Vaughn. They can even play in the same stadium. Houston would be cool because then Apollo could start to root for uh, a, an NHL team, which would also be great for him because historically, at least recently, the uh, expansion draft leads to teams that do insanely well for some reason because uh, everything in the NHL is backwards. NYC has the Rangers and the Islanders. Do, and basically the Devils too. And even how far away is Philadelphia from uh, New York City by car? It's like a few hours. I mean, New York, to be fair, does have like, you know, <laughs> I don't know. The, the New York City plus New Jersey probably has like 20 million people in it combined, but still. Toronto, the GTA is up there. The GTA has got to be like, you know, 8 million people at this point. Toronto, Mississauga, Scarborough, Richmond Hill, Oshawa. It's, yeah, it's got like a, a third of Canada's population at least. And our country loves hockey, I think. We should get the dulls started today. I, I could talk about this for hours. Please mention Etobicoke. Etobicoke! Etobicoke! My, my university roommate was from Etobicoke. I don't know anything about it. Etobicoke! What about a European team? Honestly, it, like, it would be fun, but it would be so fucked up for travel. Imagine, even with like ideal scheduling... You've got to play uh, six games in Southern California, and then three days later, you're playing against, like, the, the Helsinki fireworks or something. 17 time zones east. <laughs> By the way, I was getting... Well, we should slash marker this. Slash marker. Dolls. I have to say, I was getting torched on r slash hockey. Someone made a post on r slash hockey. The, the big hockey subreddit. It's not as big as r slash soccer, I'm just saying. And it said, uh, how much do Canadians care about the Hockey World Championships versus the Stanley Cup playoffs and the Olympics? And then one of the top comments was like, I watched a streamer say that Canadians don't really care about the World Championships because their best players are still in the Stanley Cup finals. But... Uh, like, the best players that are still remaining in the playoffs are Finnish, so how, make it make sense. Okay, li and then literally a p this person just below that replied and said, I saw Northern Lions say that as well, but Finns get wins. Bro, it's one time, okay? Like, Finland is probably, well, it's, Sweden is like my number two team, internationally speaking. We have a Vancouver-Sweden connection. Naslin, the Sedins... The Elias Pettersson, et cetera, et cetera. The second Elias Pettersson. Finland would be my number three. But I, why, why are you taking shots at me in an unrelated subreddit, okay? I get that the, the Finns are doing great in the NHL this year. I'm just telling you Canadians don't care about the Hockey World Championships. You know why? Because they happen in May. Watch this. We, we've been in darkness for seven months. I can finally see the light. I, it's it's gorgeous outside. It's blue skies and sunshine. It's 27 degrees Celsius. My seasonal affective disorder is finally clearing up. The sun rises before I wake up. It sets after I go to bed. 
That's why we don't care about the world championships, okay? We're drinking 33 acres of sunshine in Jonathan Rogers Park right now. Come, you're invited. You're invited. Just be cool. You go to bed at 9? On a, on a good day, yeah. Ideally, it'd be a little earlier. $42 billion? I feel like it's not Brazil. It seems low for Brazil. I would say, and that, well, what, could it be? It's not going to be Colombia. Well, it could be Colombia. It, wasn't, it was literally Ecuador yesterday, wasn't it? It's, okay, it's between Venezuela and Ecuador. Is it Colombia? Am I crazy? It's just Colombia. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Why are you skipping Colombia? I don't know. Just because it's Colombia is not really south of Venezuela. It literally says Coke. That's a byproduct of, of, of petroleum production. That's not cocaina. That's not the Tuco Salamanca, okay? It's not the stuff they put in a cough syrup in Georgia in 1841, okay? Did you see that post that was like, here's a real bottle of cough syrup from the 1800s? It said every ounce of it has four and a half measures of alcohol, four measures of uh, chloroform, four, me four measures of like morphine, and I forget what the, the, third, the fourth one was, but it was like... People these days, cannabis, cannabis indica, yes. People these days be like, oh, I'm worried. My cell phone salesman reeked of marijuana when he was selling me my iPhone. Is the world going to hell? Back in the old day, they'd be like, we don't even got sick days. Get, drink your, uh, get cross-faded and then go down into the coal mines. I bet it worked. I, there's no way you weren't on the fucking moon after you took a, a dram of cough syrup back in the Wild West. I'm a little jealous, honestly. Can I tell you something my wife told me today that, that kind of blew my mind? She hit me with a, a question I've never imagined myself ever hearing. Um, she was making a ham and cheese sandwich to send our daughter with to daycare. And um, she said, should I put strawberry jam on it? And I said, what? No. And then I said, don't let anybody ever hear that you asked me that question. And then she said, when I was in school, the school lunches were ham and cheese sandwiches with strawberry jam on them. And I said, no, they weren't. That doesn't make sense. And she said, they were. And I said, okay, okay. Maybe they were. I'm not going to say it sounds bad because I've never had it. I'm just going to say it's, I've never heard of it. It's called the Monte Cristo. Sounds like a sandwich mouth would like. Thank you for the Costco questions, by the way. I did go to Costco yesterday. I did also see on the subreddit, somebody said, is this NL? And then the, the, it was a screenshot of the Peloton leaderboard. Their name was My Booty Hurts. They were hashtag Costco exec member. And then the location was not in daycare, male 40s. Now I'm telling you, this is not me, but it's that if you're, some, they're probably watching this right now. If that's you, I was laughing when I saw it. I thought that was very good. The problem here is I know nothing about like any of these movies. Paul Rudd, Steve Carell, Zach Galifianakis, Anne Hathaway, Russell Crowe, Julianne Moore, Bill Murray, Taylor Swift, Rebel Wilson, Rebel Wilson, Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy. I think it's going to be a theme. I don't think it's going to be an actor. They're too disparate. What about like box office bombs? Dinner for Schm I don't know if this is a box office bomb. I don't know if any of these are box office bombs. What about best picture winners? No, I'm pretty sure Minions The Rise of Gru did not win best picture. I remember that about that year. <sighs> Movies with swords. Movies with Michael B. Jordan in them. Movies with Eddie Redmayne in them. <laughs> Movies with the guy who's not Josh Gad, but I always get confused with Josh Gad. Six swaps remain. Movies that are spin-offs of an earlier franchise. Creed, Puss in Boots, Minions, The Rise of Gru, Fantastic Beasts, Where to Find Them. Eat me. Ah, we got there. New made with all natural flavors and colors. 
I was just, I've been thinking like Metamucil is just getting a little stale. Finally, they've got a premium blend. What I've always wanted is a fiber supplement made with new all natural flavors and colors. I'm sick of drinking this orange stuff. So sick of drinking work orange stuff. Want to go home and drink home orange stuff. You know what I mean? Um, it's Dark Souls 2. It's a third person game that's older than 2014. I'm going like, I, why is the only thing that pops into my brain Jet Force Gemini? That's not a good, that's not smart. And it's on some of these platforms. How about the first Dragon Age? It is a single player game. Sorry, there was isometric gameplay in that. I didn't mean to be so stupid. It is an adventure game. It's a Zelda game. It's a Zelda game. Because that's the only game that is an adventure game. It's, or it's Portal 2. Those are the two, but Portal 2 is not a third person. It's The Legend of Zelda uh, Skyward Sword. It's not Skyward Sword. It's not on the Wii. It's not on the Wii. Right, okay, that makes sense. Good point, good point. Came out in 2011. It's a third person puzzle game. It's like, oh, you know what? It's, um... There were a lot of these back then. Third person puzzle game. It's Cube. It's Portal 2, which is not third person. Hang on, I'm just sipping. I, I'm trying to, I don't want to glance at the can and have people think there's impropriety here. 2011, probably, I'm going to say it's PC indie puzzle game in the third person. It's Amnesia. A uh, the Dark Descent. It's not Amnesia, The Dark Descent. That's also first person. The hell is Linux? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out a, a nothing guess and then rely on my one-time clue. Oh, wait, hang on. We know it's an Unreal Engine game. That's helpful. Kind of. Because it means that they're not going to give us the engine on this one. Made by Rocksteady. It's Arkham City. Oh! Dude, we played it. We played the game right. We got, ev we got greens in all the categories that don't give us great intel. And then the clue was forced to give us great intel. Oh. <laughs> uh. Game status played? No, I've never played Arkham City. I did go over to my friend's house once. And I watched him play like a couple hours of Arkham City. And then we went back to doing like Dark Souls invasions, I think. It's crazy. The older I get, the more time like blends together. Like if you show me a, a picture of the Atlanta Olympics, I'm like, this is 1996. But if you say, what year did Fidel Castro die? I'm like, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Sometime between 2010 and 2020. <laughs> Um, I think it was like 2017, 2000s. Okay. I'll take that. Is that story true, by the way, where the CIA sent an assassin to kill Fidel Castro and he seduced the assassin instead and turned them into like a Cuban agent? That's fucking baller, dude. My ass would have been killed for sure. I would have been like, don't kill me. Ow! Oh! <laughs> you shot me. You, ah, you shot me. Okay. This is um, Piccadilly Circus. No, this is Trafalgar Square. This motherfucker is why every fountain in the world has a sign that says not intended for humans to go into this water feature. This is uh, gravy tea, right? It's like a beef tea, Bavril, Levine. I don't know why this shit looks like like Children of Men or something. Like this looks like it's from a, a Mike Nichols movie. Like it's like they're they're here and then they're gonna zoom out and then there's gonna be text that says the new movie from Mike Nichols. There's something about this. I think it's the 1960s. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this be 1968 London. Holy fuck, it's 1953. <laughs> Oh. I 
I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving on. This is the mid-1950s. Give me a 57. The bear cupboard. This looks like it's the era, like, I think me and this child are roughly the same age. Although, actually, I'm going to guess I'm like three years older. I'm just going to say it, too. This might be Ireland, but this shit looks like small town Ontario. Can I see a license plate to confirm that? Is, can I get a confirmation? Is this an Ontario license plate? It kind of looks like an Ontario license plate. This shit looks like Gananoque, bro. Anyway, I, I don't think... I think this is 1996. Maybe 97, but put me in 96. It's 2001. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's like the New York Yankees in the 19... Whew, whew. I mean, this is, these are some old-ass, like, British ads. Botany ties. They're wrinkle-proof. Stadium favorite Ballantine Ale Beer. This is when England still owned the United States of America. So this has got to be like, like in the 1750s or something. Is that a water tower that says 7 up on it? <laughs> That's like something out of idiocracy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like this looks like um, Mickey Mantle, Roger Maris, which is like the early 60s. Never mind, it's 1952. We got we kind of got washed today. Not a great day of chrono photo. Still, I had fun. I'm, I want to see, too. I want to source that image because I'm pretty sure that one is Ontario. Is this shit like Hawaii? <laughs> I don't think they have like <laughs> evergreen trees in Hawaii. But the water is so beautiful. I mean, this, this, buddy, you look like Michigan. That's what I'm going to say about you. Now, let me look at this compound. I don't know how much of this you get, but like, this is like a, a huge guest suite. That's probably like a 2,000 square foot guest suite. I don't even know what this is. It's like a garage that leads to a garage. The house itself, the private pond. I'm assuming you got to like a, I don't know if this is related to your property, but because the photo encapsulates it, I'm going to assume that it is. And then maybe you got like your, own, I, I don't know. I'm going to say this is like $18 million. <laughs> That's too low. Holy fuck. Friday Harbor, Washington. Okay. So it's in, it's just south of me. I don't know where Friday Harbor is, but. I mean, if it's in this, like, the rough Seattle area and it's on, like, I don't know, Lake Washington or the Pacific or something, like, the, we, could be, we could be up here, man. Give me, like, a 25 million. Still too low. It's 13,000 square feet. <laughs> okay. Um, hit you with a 35 million real quick. It's too low. 11 beds, 3.5 baths. A lot of people would have issue with that ratio. I don't really have issue with that ratio. Take me up to 45 million. It's too low. 87.18 acre lot built in 2017. Three luxury houses included on the property. I guess I'll go up to 55 million. It's too low. On San Juan Island, 650 plus feet of beachfront, four ponds, bunkhouse, game house, two pools, tennis, and pickleball. <laughs> I have no idea, man. <laughs> it's not in my budget. You're absolutely right. That is, that is not in my budget. You know, I saw a tweet for the For You algorithm served me a tweet that said playing pickleball before 50 is a great way to ensure that you're below average in life in every aspect except your BMI. Say fuck me for. I don't even play pickleball, but I was just like, what? What? You're so full of anger. I imagine that if you play pickleball before the age of fifty, you're also, you know, you probably have below average debt. If I had to guess, people hate pickleball. I just don't understand why. Like that tweet was just. They were like a financial influencer, and they tweeted that. I didn't even know who they were, but I hit them with the. I've been doing this a lot on the for you page lately. I hit him with, the, uh, with a block because I was just like, I don't even know who you are. I just don't want to see any of your tweets ever again. 
I saw another tweet served to me to the For You page that said, Oh, hell yeah, the Blackberry movie. I love movies about products instead of original stories. I was like, what is he coming for um, Nirvana the band the show guy for? So the Blackberry's not even in business anymore. It's not like the movie is going to sell a bunch of Blackberries or something like that. He's just taking a shot at Waterloo, Ontario for no reason. They're still in business? Yeah, but you don't, you're not going to buy a Blackberry. Aren't they doing like, you know, LiDAR for electric cars or something like that now? They're not, stop punching them while they're down. Anyway, we're not going to get this. I think it's 60 million. It's 75 million dollars. <laughs> Holy cow. I have, I have, I've not gotten a single housel this week. Cash only? Brother, I don't want to know. Isn't there, I, like, I'm not a, a mortgage broker. But I feel like when it comes to securing financing... It's like if you're buying a house that's under $10 million, you're probably going to get a mortgage. And that's a wide gulf, don't get me wrong. And then like if you're buying a house that's $75 million, I feel like that's a wasteland. There's like no, nobody would loan that to you. And then if you're buying Twitter for $40 billion, then you're back in getting financing from like world government's camp. Something like that, is that correct? Anyway... This is George Harrison. Harris songs stay winning. It's also Ringo Starr. Ringo, what the fuck are those jeans, bro? Hey, Ringo, just one question. What are those? Anyway, um, Wonder Wall. Un film do Alan mm, Jane Birkins in this? I gotta see that then. It's a realization de Joe Masso. I'm gonna assume this is the Cannes Film Festival in southern France. I'm going to assume it's near Marseille. I'm just going to own that. And I'm going to assume this is, this is Harrison and Ringo in the late 1960s. This is like mid-spiritual awakening, not quite post-spiritual awakening. We take those. It is Cannes. Let me guess. The city is called Cannes? Nope. The city is called Le Cannes. Noted. This is, wait, Invasion On. 4,000 ships hit coast. I feel, well, I, can we, it's the Chicago dailies. Okay, so this is the Daily Tribune. Allies invade France. Hey, okay, very good headline. This is, um, just give me a second. I don't know why I was about to put us in Moscow. Put us in Chicago, Illinois. I mean, you don't want to mess this one up, but I feel like this is 1944. Why am I going into the 2000s? 1944, you got it spot on. We take those. 9,994. Almost went to 2004. You know what fucks me up? is like I, I always have to think about when D-Day is. And you know why? Because of fucking Battlefield 1942. Like, whenever anything is in World War II, and it's not the launching or the ending, my brain is just like, 42, brother. There were probably levels that took place, like, in the American invasion of Europe. World War II, 1942 to 1942. Like, it's, it's fucked up, man. But I'm like, 1939 is like, it kicks off. And then, basically, like, 40 to 42, Germany is just going crazy. And then, like, 43, we start the, the pushback and the North African campaign and the Dwight Eisenhower. Then 44 is, like, the D-Day. And then, like, 44 to 45 takes you to the end. That's my... Okay, not we, but you know what. I, I Personally, I am on the side of the Allies. I don't know about you guys. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but if I, if I had to pick what side to be on, I would be on the Allies controversial take <laughs> this has got to be like the summer of love or wait but maybe it's also like no this guy is fucking zooted bro look at this guy i think this is the summer of love i think this is the bay area 1969 put me in petaluma <laughs> i don't know where that is it's 1971 
at like fucking Stonehenge or something. Holy cow. Hippies celebrating the summer solstice at the pyramid stage for Glastonbury Festival. <laughs> the Glastonbury Festival. Isn't that where like Calvin Harris and Imagine Dragons play? This is definitely a gangster photo. I give it a certifiable gangster photo. Ladies in a damn dress. Got an umbrella that looks like it could kill you. This is like a James Bond weapon. Uh, it's snowing. Obviously, that's a rare event here. Ben Affleck's... It looks like he's driving at like 500 kilometers an hour. I feel like this is England. Because... I have a bias to whenever something is clearly in Europe, it must be in England. I'm going to say this is London, 1964. 1966 in the Netherlands. We still got 9,000 points. Europe is easy mode. Can't recognize the canals. I'm sorry to tell you this, Netherlands. Your canals are the second most favorite, uh, famous canals in Europe. The most famous canals in Europe are in Venice. Venice stays winning. Venetians, give yourself a little pat on the back. Netherlands, you're a strong second, don't get me wrong. Last known photograph of one of these individuals. I don't know which one. You know what's crazy is that there's like nothing wrong with this image. But because of like watching true crime stuff on Netflix over the last 10 years, like... This is a photo you see in the first episode of a 10-episode series about how, like, they never found her body. They might just continue to be happily married now. Like, this might be, like, a nice... Maybe it's their anniversary now, so, and they both play the game, so they put it in the, in the daily today. It could be just a nice gesture, but it definitely looks like, you know... The, the trip to London was really, like, our chance to rekindle our relationship, and then... But tragic tragedy followed them even across the Atlantic. Dun dun. Next episode, you know. Anyway, I hope that I'm wrong. This is um, not so Big Ben. People who live in in England, what is this called? What is this station called? Not Vauxhall. You know the one I'm talking. About. If you wanted to get to the London Eye, you would get off at this station. Not Southwark, not Lambeth North, Waterloo? Isn't that in, like, France? Isn't that where Napoleon did surrender and I have met my end in quite a similar way? That chrono photo, hey, 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 embankment, thank you, not waterfront. That chrono photo was in Ontario? You can't sneak Ontario by me. I'm, I'm going, I'm going 99 when men weren't afraid to wear sweaters. Until Chris Evans brought them back. My parents outside the Palace of Westminster. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Cute photo. I'm just going to go ahead and say I would not be comfortable being in the position of being on the railing. Because like, I don't think that my wife would lean back and push me into the water. But like, I think there's a chance. <laughs> She's got some daycare aggression right now. I'm just... Oh, she's watching? I didn't. I was just joking. <laughs> I mean, from this angle, it kind of looks like, um, like it's mid-solving a Rubik's Cube or something like that. But you don't often look at your house from like 75 feet away and 50 feet in the air. So I'm not too... It's more, more interested to see how it looks once we get down to the, the ground, I guess. Um... It does look a little edited, right? Like the lights in the windows are not right. The tree lighting is like, yes, you're right. This is AI generated, man. This is not right. <laughs> Five beds, four and a half baths. I'll take you up to two. I've got you in my sights. It's sold for two million. There you go. 7,000 square feet. It does look like when you tell AI to make a Wes Anderson movie. I was losing it at the tweets that were like, uh, please stop having AI make Wes Anderson movies. They keep giving them titles like the Whimsical Fellowship and shit. Wes Anderson has never done that. 
Literally, like, his title cards are, like, Chicago, Illinois. And then when the AI generates it, it's always, like, the antediluvian dollhouse. Today, I'd like to go from Palestine to Cambodia. Holy cow. Um, it's a long trip. I hope you're, you're packing a lunch. Okay, let me, let me go here. Just give me a second. Let me think. I mean, the, it would be best to go to Turkey, I think. That makes sense to me. So let's go like Jordan to Syria. Oh, okay. To, to Turkey? Okay, okay. To, now, just give me a sec. We're going to fill in a gap here. We know we're going to want Russia in here, but it doesn't touch Turkey. But Russia is then going to go to China, which is then going to go to, like, Laos, which is now touching Cambodia. Okay, so we just need the connection between Turkey and Russia, which is going to be, like, um, Azerbaijan. And uh, <laughs> uh, Armenia. He's crazy. He's cracked. Wait, that was a pretty good day for going as far as we did. It's better to go. Oh, it's actually better to go, at least for travel purposes. It's better to go the, like, South Asian way. Central Asian, I guess. Jordan, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, China, Laos, Cambodia. It was still pretty good. And the movie to movie dropped while you're doing dulls. Okay. You know what? If I do the movie, then I'm going to have to wait for the movie to movie to drop. What I'm doing dulls to my, well, whatever. Let's put it on there. Oh, we got to do it today because it's the cable guy. Cable guy. One of my favorite comedies. Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, Jack Black, Owen Wilson. Leslie Mann, it's got everybody, and the menu, the menu, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, who's also in The Favorite with Emma Stone, and Olivia Colman, Olivia Colman, of course, in The Lobster with John C. Riley. John C. Riley, there's, there's an easier connection, John Leguizamo is in this, John Leguizamo was also in The Pest in the 90s, John Leguizamo in the Mario movie with Dennis Hopper, Bob Hoskins, Bob Hoskins, Who Framed Roger Rabbit with Christopher, um, Lloyd was in the Adams family, of course, with Raul Julia, um, Angelica Houston, Christina Ricci, Christina Ricci, uh, Black Snake Moan, Black Snake Moan, of course, uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Samuel L. Jackson takes you to Mars. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> Ray Fines, Ray Fines, the English patient in Bruges, Colin Farrell. It's, I'm looking for the Jim Carrey connection. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I think I've got something. Because you're an X-Man. You played Cyclops. James Marsden played Cyclops. James Marsden is in Sonic. Did they ever do a Days of Future Past? Nicholas Holt Cyclops meets James Marsden Cyclops. So you go Jim Carrey, Sonic the Hedgehog, James Marsden, X-Men, Days of Future Past... Nicholas Holt, he's fucking insane. He's crazy. That is a, a bit of a lark to have pay out. Shortest, Jim Carrey, Kick-Ass 2, John Leguizamo. Okay, but nobody saw Kick-Ass 2 because it sucked. And right before it came out, uh, Jim Carrey said, don't see this movie. Sounds great to me. Hey, I'm just checking in on my lunch break to say, does she walk? Does she talk? You trying to bait me into saying, does she come complete? My homeroom, homeroom angel always lifts me from my seat. She was pure like snowflakes. No one could ever stain the memory of my angel. Ooh, could never cause me pain. Like you're talking about Jay Giles' band, Centerfold. You're saying like years go by, I'm looking at a girly magazine and there's my homeroom angel on the, page, on the pages in between. Like, is that what you're trying to say? You're suggesting that perhaps your blood runs cold or something? Oh, you got me. Jade's shirt is a great color. Thank you. I appreciate it. This morning, you know, we, we fully transitioned to summer wardrobe here lately because the weather's been amazing. 
My wife put on some nice clothes. I said, my wife, your summer wardrobe is like a Beyonce album. It's just hit after hit. She said, ha, ha, ha. And then I said, my summer wardrobe? Kind of like, now what I said was a Bruno Mars album, because every song sounds almost exactly the same, because I'm wearing like, you know, just a polo shirt and khaki shorts like every day. What I wanted to say, I didn't say it because my wife is a noted Maroon 5 enjoyer, is that it's kind of like a Maroon 5 album, okay? But that's, that we've localized the joke for her, and then we localized the joke for Twitch. This guy loves his wife? It's true, what can I say? Call me Chance the Rapper, the way I be loving my wife? Ooh, that's a goal! How about get in front of the net, we'll do some mega tips? Never mind, never mind. You're gonna, you're gonna get an easy breakaway here. Big whoop. Send them. Gideon Le Mustache. This is a saucer pass if I've ever seen one! How do you miss that? You watching any good shows right now? I don't really watch much anymore. You ever realize, I'm, I'm, I promise I'm not just saying this to get in my wife's good graces. You ever realize like how fucked Netflix would be right now if it weren't for Korea? Like there's, a, there's so little good stuff on Netflix. No disrespect, John Mulaney. I thought Baby J was quite good. But so much of it is Korean. And even what I assume to be their most successful show from a critical standpoint in 2023 is heavily Korean American. Like beef is uh, is steeped in in Korean American culture. It's it's very central to the show. So like I, I haven't uh, I haven't been watching that much. I think partly it's because you know there have just hasn't been that much to watch. But I I have every night I see a uh, 15 minutes of the new season of Queer Eye. Well I uh, what have I done? Well I set video thumbnails. My mom eats that shit up. But the Korean dramas are Queer Eye. The Queer Eye is just like... It's just... It's just wholesome entertainment. If you're gonna watch... This is just my two cents. If you're gonna watch something that's like... I was gonna say meritless, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> if you're gonna watch something that has no artistic merit, you're watching it just to like entertain yourself, not really challenge yourself, which is, again, completely fine. Completely fine. Might as well be something like Queer Eye, you know, which is uplifting and uh, a little inspiring. Might, might get your emotions flowing a little bit. I, I will say, though, I don't know if they've ever done Queer Eye episodes where they, like, go back and revisit um, people that they gave a makeover, but the, the start of this season... It was a great episode. They, they went to a, a frat house and like remodeled the frat house and taught them how to like, you know, do chores and clean and stuff and then talk about their feelings. It was a great episode, but I'm, there's a part of me that's like, I bet if you went back in like a month, that place is gonna be a fucking pigsty again. <laughs> I just, it's no disrespect, but I know where I was at, you know, 1920. If they were like, hey, we bought you a Swiffer and like we, we taught you how to make muffaletta sandwiches. My ass would have been like, I'm going to do this every day. And then a week later, I would have been like, I'll do it tomorrow. You see Kitchen Nightmares is coming back. Thanks, Ref. I really appreciate that one. Really? <laughs> I'm, I, will, I will watch more Kitchen Nightmares. I'm just excited because it gives that Kitchen Nightmares YouTube channel more to do. Instead of just, like, mixing the same clips they've been using since, like, 1998. <laughs> Fresh Frozen and 15 other moments that caused Gordon's brain to literally melt. Good fart, good fart. Gotta hand it to you, good fart. Plus 50 speed when skating backwards. But still. It's like, it's classic journalism. A question in the headline makes people want to answer the question. That going in is criminal. Devs, if you could take a look at that. Never mind, everything's working. Interesting, looking into it. What? Dude, it's with the, what have they done? The goalie can't make saves. 
I, I can't make shots. Great four check, great four check, great four check. Kazoo didn't knock him off. Okay, we're free again. This should be a one-timer. Get in there, get in there. What are you doing? That's, what are you doing? What, what, what? I mean, I feel like we have done pretty well. It's just our goalie has really let us down. I know that like people who don't watch sports or they only watch soccer are like, brother, you let them get one shot. In the world of hockey, one shot is typically not a, a death sentence, but I guess there are exceptions. Plus 50 speed when skating backwards. Not who I would have passed to personally, but what do I know? I'm just the guy making the decisions. Yes! <laughs> Stumple! Sometimes you just gotta take the you gotta take the rocket off the launch pad wherever you find it. I don't know. I'm mixing metaphors here. My headphones are too tight. I'm starting to get the Tim the Tap Man dent in my in my scalp. Insane kazoo. That was guaranteed. Guarantee. Stu Stumple does just act like you've been there before. Also, this team has, without a doubt, the hardest. Uh, goal song of all time even though they play it when um we score which is a bold choice for the home team fans you know what it sounds like oh fuck you <laughs> it sounds like that song from movie commercials or like commercials for probiotic supplements that goes like we were born to be alive born 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 to be alive you know the one i'm talking about The new Dodge SX 2.0. The thrill of 132 horses. I don't watch advertisements. How? Teach me. Insane fart. Look at the space it opened up. Me at the buffet line on a Disney cruise. Explain that one? No, I don't think I will. Event me? Angus develops the ability to make passes that cannot be intercepted. Holy cow. Angus has guaranteed laser beams. His passes cannot be intercepted. That's the best event. He's got a halo now. He's bald. I, I see the idea of Angus as a defenseman for the guaranteed interceptions. And thus the, oh, the, the stretch pass as well. I also feel like, though, it's such a good ability to have for the one-timers. I, like, I always want him to be part of the rush. Like, give it to you, then you're free. Then we pass it to you, and you're free. And we give it to you, and you, and you're free. You just keep doing it. Cut. Keep him at center. I want him in the middle of the ice. I want him controlling the pace of play in the offensive zone. Oh, you can't stop that. You can't coach that. He's gone. Good try. Very respectable attempt. You can't stop him. Yep. Garen, do it. I've I got something going. I've got something cooking up here. Anytime we can get it to Baldy, it's a guaranteed potential one-timer. Even if it goes down into the defense, we don't care. Or goes up into the defense, depending on where we're going. Good start, okay? Outshot him 13 to 8. Angus and Cam Amber stumble upon a series of futuristic pods. Intrigued, they open one to find a mini Cam Amber jump out of the pod and join the team. Which player will you sacrifice for this? I'll sacrifice my other winger. I shall call him <laughs> Mini Amber. Mini Amber, you complete me. The guy who McShagged me. So very true. I was there. I was the guy. Dude, look at him. He's so tiny. You're right. Events are crazy. Whoa, he's horrible. You cost me the game, you tiny dude. Never mind. You're, you're innocent. Okay. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta pause this for a second. Here. I just, I'm mute. Opposing goaltender rebounds will always be directed towards you. Um, something's not right with my control scheme right now. 
ever since I paused. So I don't, I don't really want to give the, oh, it's maybe my mouse positioning. Okay, it's my mouse positioning. I'll give this to, Cam Amber's going to be shooting a lot. I think McShaggy should have it. Never pause. I know, mom, I'm gaming. No, it was important. Does Kate have a signal to mute the mic? What do you think this is? Like a, the news? She just said mute your microphone. This isn't like American Idol. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm getting shredded. Good attempt. I saw, I saw that. It was pretty good. You killed your own dude. Okay, you killed my dude. a problem. Down three entering down three entering the third. Looking pretty bad. Gretzky me? What? Sorry, it's a three period game. Nothing's over yet. One more goal and it's pretty over though. Dude, they got nobody. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Cam Amber's putting the, the whole team on his back. Everybody turned away from the puck. We have no defensemen. Help. Freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze the puck. Don't freeze the puck. Because I saw my moment. This is a guaranteed one-timer. Oh! Now don't get... Don't start playing scared ball. Down by one. It's the kind of thing that can... It's going to be your championship origin story right here. Okay, Baldy needs a stick back. Can you, can you let Baldy get his stick back, please? Baldy? To Baldy, please? Dude, give it to Baldy, dude! Holy cow. Okay, he's got it. Now get ready to spring him. No spring. No spring required. The guaranteed one-timer is, is insanity. Even if the dude is quintuple teamed, you just give it to him anyway. Just hang on, brother. Don't even try to win the faceoff. Just go straight for the, the bone-crushing body check. That was an insane game. I mean, insane goal, I mean to say. Oh, what about his... I forgot how to speak English. Mini Cam Amber. Bump the body, bump the body. Make sure you do hurt somebody. And then a guaranteed one-timer. Oh, really? I can't believe that almost worked. Mini Cam Amber. Stay out to get the one-timer. Oh, you knew it too. You knew it. Keep some pressure on him. Baldi's got his stick back. Me after I recover from my vasectomy. Nice try. You almost had me. Can't be intercepted. Can't be intercepted. Doesn't mean I can't be body checked, I guess. Motherfucker. <laughs> YouTube has detected some adverse language in this that might not be advertiser friendly. Cam Amber, please. You score the goal! Oh, after everything we've been through. Oh, well, you know what? We'll throw a slash marker on that one. Slash marker, tape to tape too. No, it's not rip tape to tape. I'm going to play it tomorrow too. After you play Darkest Dungeon 2. No, Darkest Dungeon 2 is definitely gone forever. What happened to Darkest Dungeon 2? I just don't think I like it very much. I can't beat the third Darkest Dungeon 2 boss. I need you to show me how. Nah, you can just go to a guide. You can't... Well, there's many things. A, I can't beat the first boss. B, the analytics are ass. C, chat says nothing in the game at all until you make a mistake. D, I think that... Honestly, I just... People aren't ready for the real criticism that I have. Because they just resort to ad hominem attacks, which is your bad. The thing that annoys me the most about Darkest Dungeon 2 is that the first two hours of every run are like straight up just automatic. You just execute like the order of operations that you learned with your squad. And then the boss fight is like, eat shit. Like you just lost. 
So like the first two hours is completely meaningless and then the boss just like grinds you up and you're like, what's the point of even... What's the point of even doing the first part? Like the first 80% of the run is boring and the last 20% is like impossible. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of nods here. Is Wild Frost dead? Bro, we played it yesterday. Bro, you're green. Oh, hello. He's alive. Just sitting I'm here kinda, with the I'm trying the to show boys. a fucking picture of, my, of a dog to chat here. I have to unmute. The hell? Trying to show his hog to chat? Yeah. Nah, my mom uh, adopted a dog. Oh, cool. She what asked kind of dog? me a uh, French bulldog. So this is how London dies, huh? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The lobby is up. I found it guys... personally. It, oh, is it, it? Tickled me that uh, I was talking to Apollo the other, you know, like a day ago, and he's like, "Oh, you know, I'm doing the Zelda stuff, but you know, I gotta do Uno, I gotta do this, I gotta do that." I'm like, "Oh man, yeah." And then, uh, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Hey, we're doing London, yeah." He's like, "No, nah, I gotta play Zelda." I'm like, "Oh, oh so, no. Uno, you know, clear the schedule, but London." I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it. I, I get, get it. it. Yeah, I get it. He probably wants to talk about Valorant for like three hours with the Valorant lads. So I understand. <laughs> the one that gets me is when he's playing first class trouble. Like when he plays Among Us, I'm like, no disrespect. But when he plays first class trouble, I'm like, oh, was like, is, is there a group chat where they're like, we're sick of Among Us. Can we play worse Among Us for a week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the Among Us likes are pretty pretty bad <laughs> he's not there he is no, are you guys mouth. waiting for me well we're just we're really we're just waiting for a fourth for anybody yeah so we, <laughs> like london's not fun if we don't have somebody not winning a medal yes <laughs> um i always win bronze i'm not saying you would be the one to not win the medal i'm just saying we need four so that somebody is part of the out group whether it's you or me or Justin or Corey, or Chib if he wakes up, he's he's he uh, he drank too many Peronis last night. Definitely. Did. <laughs> yeah. Is he still a Peroni guy? I don't think so. What is a Peroni? A Peroni a is an Italian beer. beer. Gross. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the the lager. You know, you go to a country and everyone has a lager. Yeah, it's like an Italian like. Bud. Budweiser, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except it's people aren't ready for this yet because people in chat are going to assume everything American is bad and everything Italian is better. Budweiser, kind of better than Peroni, though. Every time I talk about Budweiser, someone will be like, yeah, but Jeff, have you had the original Budweiser? Oh, the uh, Czech Var? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I tried it once. I'm like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's not much better. The only time I drank Budweiser... Is uh, wait, hold on, the game's opening, so it's gonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, the only time I ever drank Budweiser, God, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Was uh, when I was playing in a band, and the bar we played at would let us drink free beer, but only the Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> Budweiser is not good, but I will go out on a limb and say that I think it's overhated. Well, I think people associate Budweiser with Bud Light. Right, and that's like I no, I I, I I hate Budweiser, but Bud Light is like piss. It's just oh, yeah. like, there's like you have Bud to drink like, like eighty thick, of them to feel it's it. It's like thick piss, though. I'm I gonna like, start I... making my own uh, classy beer. Classy beer, classy yeah, beer. like uh, some like very subtle elderberry beer. You know, just like subtle fruits, natural fruits. Have you had Maybe. Edelweiss? No, I've had a. Uh, I had it when I was like in Calgary. I remember uh, a what the huck. Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember. It's a huckleberry. It's a. It was a very good beer. It was like perfectly like huckleberry, but not like overly hmm. sweet. I am. Uh, I'm voting with my wallet, and anytime I buy beer, especially like local beers in Vancouver, so many of them have names now that are like, you know, Dwight Schrute Stapler and stuff like that. Or, like, yeah. you know, and I'm like, I just know, I don't care how good it is, I will never buy them on principle. And like, I also have become a big fan of just like a nice little mixed drink. If I'm at a bar, I'm getting an old fashioned or a screwdriver. Or... I can't do, so I, let me just tell you. <laughs> 
I, I don't know if I ever told you this story. A long time ago, a friend of mine invited me to a holiday party. Didn't tell me it was in like a, like a horrible loud club out on Long okay. Island. I overcompensated. Uh, they brought the table a free bottle of Grey Goose and a pitcher of orange juice, which hey, I pretty much single-handedly wow polished down. Cut to later, I projectile vomited all over his car. And uh, oh, it was so bad thing. that he sold it. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's uh he that's the Seinfeld it. bit. It really is. Yeah. Oh man, who who bought I it? I can't believe he's still my friend. Like it who shocks it? me that now, he's still my friend. Oh, I left dude. out that they were serving uh tuna tartare. Oh my yeah. oh, no. <laughs> Which I I may have eaten eaten a lot of them. That's okay. I understand why you, you got You made like fucked up ceviche in your yeah. stomach yeah man <laughs> yeah I, I literally have not drank vodka since and i don't think i ever will again <laughs> oh do not also just so no one thinks ceviche. i'm like a lunatic this was over 10 years ago i'm a, i'm cool now I'm normal now oh, he doesn't puke anymore i already uh i already tweeted about it but i find it very like i've been laughing all day because i i just got into talking heads I know, which I thought yeah. was a hilarious tweet. I think that's so funny. For <laughs> someone so who who has an awareness of music to just get into the talking heads now. They're incredible. <laughs> it's crazy to me. They're <laughs> really good. They're, they've made a lot of great stuff. From Olympic glory. Let oh, me tell you about this guy story. named Elvis Presley, Justin. <laughs> no, he sucks. He's stinky. Huh. You don't like him? No, I hate Elvis. But he really? eats on the toilet. That's kind of cool. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. What was did he? he do to you? Actually, what did he do? Nothing was he a bad me. guy? I mean, I'm just a hater. But no, I oh, think he was okay. also a piece of shit, no? He dated a 14-year-old? What a guy. Well, yeah. No. Bro, Mary people did. in the 50s were getting married to 10-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Yeah, David, they were only living uh, to like 30 back then. What's his face from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's right. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defending him! Well... Hey, who's that? Wait, what, what's the, the lead singer of uh, Talking Heads? David Byrne? David Byrne, yeah. Right? yeah. Justin, I got bad news for you. What? Don't even, dude. Don't even. David Byrne is, is innocent. Yeah, he David Byrne's cool. He went to the Met Gala. No, uh, that's fine. He's allowed to. He's quirky. I went down the full rabbit hole yesterday of uh, seeing people online being like, uh, oh, but he was he was like a real prick to his bandmates. And then I went down the rabbit hole, like, I think the bandmates were the pricks. Uh, you went all the way in, holy cow. I went all the way in. He's taken, he's in the Burn versus Tina Weymouth dispute, he's taken side of I'm Team Burn. Big time on Team Burn. You know those other two ripped off another musician? Which also like sounds like a, you know, a renaissance <laughs> song. Uh, so what's funny is, it was mostly, someone asked if I saw the anecdote about where he got mugged. And that is what mostly set me off on that rabbit hole. Really? I saw that on Twitter and I was like, I gotta listen to Talking Heads. What was the anecdote about him getting mugged? Ah, yeah. uh, that him and who was it? Him and someone got mugged and they described it as uh, they got mugged by 14 people. What the but fuck? David <laughs> got dragged off into the bushes going, oh no. <laughs> like, <laughs> Holy shit. I have to find the image. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Yeah, him Wait, and Brian. All tens? Is. is that how he wrote My Life in the Bush of Ghosts? <laughs> is that what that's about? I thought that was like an ambient album. Yeah. Oh yeah, not. Oh no, he went. Uh oh, <laughs> got dragged away by muggers. Songs to get mugged to. Oh, it's so funny. But was he Aww. wearing the uh, the big suit when he got mugged? <laughs> no. so did you see the recent promo of him in the big suit? I did not. No. I, they're, you're they're... you're all in, man. I Dude, I had my talking I, heads phase like. 20 years ago <laughs> i did like a full day of flying yesterday got home and then just God. went down a rabbit hole until i went to sleep <laughs> but uh yeah they're they're releasing like a remastered version of uh oh like the live concert i can't remember what it was called stop making sense yes Woodstock, i think right <laughs> yeah that was, but yeah oh no oh but yeah they're, they're doing a 4k restoration and he did a very funny commercial for it where he puts on the big scene so he's got several I, several bangers. What's, really what's your banger of choice right now? Banger of choice? Uh, oh, naive melody. Open parentheses. This must be the place. I so I need to like remember song titles. Once in a lifetime. Great. Is that great, the name of that song? Great all time track. Great track, track song. four. Remain in light. Great song. Is this what hell is like? What's the problem? You, you don't like the talking nerds heads? go on about track four side B eighteen. Uh, <laughs> 1997 uh, pre-release uh, double platinum 
record. <laughs> well, the sides are really easy to remember on Remain in Light because it starts psychotic and then there's like one pop song. Yeah, I, I have an immense amount of respect <clears throat> for uh, not wanting to cash in on the fame now for like nostalgia's sake. I think that that is a cool take. He like started some like crypto NFT stuff though, he, right? He did. He, no, he's actually the CEO of Nestle. <laughs> oh shit! Frick. Yeah, he's really in on that privatizing water. They yeah. named he gets him, a pass. He adopted the name Burn after what he did to the Amazon rainforest. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah, he also started like hollowing out the moon so he can turn it into a Death Star. Thing. He did do that. I was there. I think that's that cool, might help. Is helping. <laughs> that's kind of sick, though. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> he was wearing the big space suit. <laughs> Plus two. That's what we should do. do. We, should, we should workshop like some skit bits and get a deal with Netflix. That would do well. That would do well as a skit. Please, if, if we could get David Byrne to be in the show wearing a big space suit. I'm so bad at power lock on this one. I don't it's, know why. It's so it's hard, easy man. and automatic. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. It's, it's, you know, no. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten anything but perfect on the speed lock in this. Like, it just is, every single time, it's the same thing. You're out of your mind. Oh, fuck. Even the button what? presses, I'll give you, sometimes I can screw up the speed lock, but this one is just like, it's like a true false. Dude, that'd be a great name for a show. For true moves, Falls. Yes. Like True Lies. I just don't get the little glowy yellow thing every time. It could be oh. about like a, a cop who has innate lie detecting abilities. Yeah, okay. in a place called True Falls is a little town in like Maine. Oh, I thought her name was going to be True Falls. But that's... Uh, <laughs> she can live in... It's about a student who's insanely good at filling out the Scantron form. <laughs> That's very dated, I think. It is. Yeah, you don't think they're using Scantron, Scantrons? Are they? They, no, how can no you way. How can you get better than the Scantron? It's already automatic. There ain't no way they're still using the Scantron. What about an AI using the Scantron? <laughs> they still use Scantrons? They, how, how could it get better? They st wow. I don't I know. know that something it's digital. Chip, it's like it's asking if people still drink water. While I was flying home, uh, my first flight, I had an old fashioned because, you know, you could do that on a plane now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And second flight, I was like, I went to go get another one and I was like, man, it's like nine in the morning. <laughs> Everyone's going to judge me. So I got a Diet Coke. Like a food. Just say, no just say it's a fancy iced tea. No, if the guy like looks at you, the guy sitting next to you, just say, oh, you just got back from like Hong Kong or something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be like, oh, it's 5 p.m., you know, Singapore time right now. I felt real bad for the guy next to me because it was really humid and then I flew for two hours sweating and then I got on another plane and I had to sit next to this poor guy. Did you fight over the armrest? No, you know what? I'm a class trader, so I was in first class. Oh, and, wow. uh, there's, just, there's enough arm room for both. I was going to say, no wonder you got an old fashioned. If you ordered that in economy, you'd have like seven little bottles sitting on your lap the whole rest of the flight. Yeah, that should I'm not rich, I'm just fat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could be both. It's uh, it's like the same price as getting two economy seats. So I just go for the fancy seat. Mm. If you pay extra, they should let you fly in the cockpit. <laughs> I feel like they're being more cavalier with the cockpit now. Fuck. Like, like uh, they went to go build the, the wall of carts because a pilot had to use the restroom. Yeah, yeah. And like something was weird about it, so they just didn't. They just didn't do it, and then the door was open for a bit. I was staring right in the cockpit, looking at how things work. And then I was like, shit, they probably think I'm looking a little too hard. I look suspicious. This guy cares about what's going on up there. <laughs> oh, man, can I tell you? I was sweating about Ryan, taking my... Job. I was so nervous taking the IRL backpack through TSA, because it just looks exactly like a bomb. If you were to tell me, draw a bomb, I would show you a drawing of my IRL backpack. Yeah, you draw a backpack with a camera on it. And then no, the camera's put away. It's just a little, it's like a little laundry basket with just wires and circles. <laughs> oh, you, and you took it in a laundry basket? And uh, a, That's how it, a digital uh, timer Have you not seen down. my backpack setup? No, I thought you had a backpack. It's a basket in the backpack. What the fuck? How does a laundry basket fit in a backpack? It's a, it, it looks like it. It's like a tiny little basket. Like oh, one you would find oh, in a laundry see, room. 
Oh, I see, I man. see. <laughs> it it like keeps a, it so that the bag doesn't sag onto the fans. It's like a gumball with a little fuse on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask questions. I couldn't believe it. Oh, man. I once brought a, a blue Yeti Pro in my backpack, and I accidentally mm. left a butter knife in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, they, they thought the blue Yeti Pro, it looks like a large, like, pill or something. Very oh, yeah, yeah. bomb-esque. And like, they're like, sir, what is this? I was like, oh, that's just a microphone. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they're like, sir, what is this? And it's a very sturdy butter knife that was just like in the front pocket. And I was like, very oh. sturdy butter knife. A sturdy butter knife. Oh, oh. I've, dude, I've taken hor horrifying shit in a backpack on a plane, man. Really? I had like, yeah, well, just like I've had like six different external batteries with like wires everywhere and like, you know, a Nintendo Switch and then like a camera. They gotta be looking at my backpack. They're like, what the fuck is I think they're probably like, this dude? This nerd has a Nintendo Switch <laughs> and <laughs> so like, many batteries. What's he playing? FIFA? Except they did, they did pull me aside a few times. I've never used my Switch handheld mode. That is kind of crazy. I just, it's, it's for capturing on the computer only. You guys want to hear my impression of a woman? <laughs> hey, what, do you want to get some sushi tonight? I'm still workshopping the rest of it. <laughs> all right, all right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I was workshopping it yesterday. Warp shopping? Will there be a personal best? They love sushi, man. They they love. I tell me that. they don't love sushi. I love seeing Ryan's yeah, love joke sushi. notebook out in front of him. He's like, write a joke about a woman. Oh man! For and then one million dollars. People people were like, that's sexist. Do an impression of a man. And I said, hey, for dinner tonight, I'm sick of sushi. Can we go to this steakhouse? They have amazing steaks. Then when they get there, the man is like, oh yes, I'll have the burger, please. Oh, for a side, nice. I'll take fries. Did you see Canada's getting Fogo the Chow mouth? Why don't what? you go go to Chow on these nuts? <laughs> wow! Hey! Hooters is such a shit place, man. <laughs> I'm still, I only it went once because a friend made me go with him and it sucked so much. Yeah. It's really awkward. You got horny at Hooters? No, but they're trying to make your ass horny. And that's on chicken wings. And other pe the thing is, other people are being horny. Like, I, I hated watching, like, People put their arms around their waitress when they Ew. sat at their table and shit like that. I was just like, man, this whole place just seems fucking skeevy. I, I thought like you it. were going to say they were jerking off or something. No, what? no one was jacking off, to my knowledge. You think that's ranch you're dressing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What'd you do, 240? 240, yeah. He did, he did do fucking 40, dude. What the fuck? Did you guys see the, oh. the viral tweet yesterday that was from, like, the I poisoned me, f or I was poisoned uh, account? Oh, I love those. And I didn't it, see it, though. It was, like, eight, Vancouver, B.C. ate a slice of pizza that was heavenly, heavily ranched. Through, cut to me at 3 a.m. in the hospital. I don't know where I am. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, man. It's incredible. I watch uh, Battle Bots every week with a bunch of friends on Discord, and uh, we discovered the whole soundboard thing. And I uploaded a sound of me just screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> and, uh, and you could spam it. You could just keep hitting. <laughs> it's great. Everyone had fun. I, uh, I got last place in the Battle Bots draft this year, and I feel like shit. Oh, did you not draft one of the robots that uh, spins around or is a wedge? No, dude. It, they're so advanced now. I don't yeah, think anything can beat battle bots. They can't beat the wedge, man. It's just physics. Two wedges? They wedges always, are OP. <laughs> they always <laughs> like a sandwich. POV, you are about to lose your battle bots league because you drafted something called Sir Kill a Lot that has like an Uzi and a flamethrower. <laughs> it's going up against a, a a little dinner plate, and you're like, how could it possibly lose? And then the dinner plate just like eviscerates it in one spin. Then does donuts in the center of the arena for the rest of the match. <laughs> I always liked I always liked the saw blades with like the one massive tooth on it. It's diamond they tips. Just, they were just just if if it hit, oh man, it hit. You guys ever heard of Netflix? No. They got all the scary movies. Oh my god! What are you god. doing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Okay, it is Chibli. Chibli, you're first. <laughs> My guy didn't jump. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to mute Chibli. I'm going to mute Chibli. Oh. Is that Chibli's song I hear? Yeah, yes. <laughs> He's running into the ring. <laughs> All right, 
<laughs> I can this? no longer hear Chibli. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, That's what you get, Bucko. Dude. I got delicate ears. <laughs> I, my, my, why can I still hear it? <laughs> I fucked up my dive so bad. <laughs> I think I, I think I scared Mel. Oh man. Oh, you can change the soundboard volume. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know why it told me that after I did all that. I saw that on Plex. <laughs> hey Ryan, uh, tell a joke. G Ghibli, I had a great joke about. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. The joke is here's my impression of a woman. Do you want to get sushi tonight? <laughs> that means it's a good one. Wait, mouth left. <laughs> Did he leave? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. Wait, what? Is he, is he really? Focus? Does he hate the vine boom? I'm sorry. I didn't know he really. I didn't know he didn't like it. The vine He'll boom back. killed his He'll father. Be back. <laughs> I even turned it down 60%. It's still insane. It's still very <laughs> oh, is it? No, but it owns. Don't change it's it. It's not that loud for me. It's really loud. It's not loud for me either. It really? rumbles big. Now, come back. <laughs> that wasn't me either. This is the worst thing they've ever added to this platform. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Vine Boom main. Oh, man. I wonder if I could use sounds I've uploaded to other servers. You can. You can use it anywhere. Oh no! Yeah, Let me hear you yell, you man. Oh, I went in. I went inside. I'll show sure restraint. I'm not gonna start hitting the screen oh, button. No, no, no. No, just do one. One mouth gone. Made your ears hurt before turning it down. Do one, Damn, Justin, Justin. You have Justin, my the permission. Dives, dude. What no, the fuck? I can't. Just I one. Can't. Just one. No, you have. Just you have one? my Give permission. Give us one. Just one. All right, hold on. I have to all pet. Is that good? Dude, that's pretty like good. You're throwing a Kamehameha, dude. Was that good? It wasn't that loud. <laughs> yeah, because your volume, Chibli, is the volume you hear the soundboard at. It's not the oh. volume you send it at. Oh! Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, oh Mouth silly. Must have had you cranked or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is he just never coming back? He'll, he's going to come back. I'm sure he's going to come back. You know him. Like, is he gonna come back, man? Like, is he actually okay? Like, should I message him and apologize? Like, I don't want to start any drama. Maybe, maybe. He's oh. gonna come back. He just doesn't want to alt tab. Achievement unlocked. So Let me fantastic. go into his chat. He did, he did finish. He did finish. He did finish. I'm sorry, man. I can't believe you do that. I'm in his chat. Oh, his chat. Uh, someone said Chip feels better and someone said then Chip should stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I stopped. I stopped. No, no, no. Oh. Alright, we're, we're back in the lobby, Chip. I lied to you. Was <laughs> I thought that was the end. Oh. Okay, I, I, I think I've made an alliance with Malph Nation. Okay, Mouth Nation has some requests. Okay. As soon as he joins Ryan, don't do a soundboard thing. I haven't even. I don't even know where it is. Well, he just, he <laughs> thinks as soon as he joins, you're gonna do it. I don't even know where the Discord soundboard is, man. <laughs> I think if okay. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and nobody do else it. do it, and because then he's gonna think that I did it. <laughs> Yeah, it's really gonna be real hard not to push it. I'm gonna have to do damage. I'm not gonna control. do it. Mouth Nation did send in the spy just to see what uh, we were talking about in here. To make sure it was okay to come back, okay? Was the spy mouth? Yep. No. No. What is this guy's problem? <sighs> it's, it's a new record. It's a new oh, record. Oh, you little demon? Oh. I got a new world record. Oh, dude, I, it's oh. kind of amazing that you're old and you can still get new PBs in this game. No disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> that was such an unnecessary well, comment. It's the, it's the, I, I've learned, I've learned a new tap tech. Oh. What is it? Well, the fingernail drag across the button. I never considered doing something. Oh. Like that. Dude, right, I I legitimately now in the lobby. Now in the lobby. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna joining. I'm joining. 
I injured myself playing Mario Party. Hang on, I'm gonna join and then mute everyone because I just by what I hate it. Which game uh, injured oh. you? The one, the one where you spin on the snowboard. Someone in my oh, chat yeah. was like, if you use your knuckle, if you use your knuckle, you go so fast. Oh. So I started using my knuckle, but now I, I ripped all the skin off my knuckle. Oh. Oh, I did it! Okay, can we get a fucking long jump, a javelin, a, a hundred meter? Uh, uh, you missed all those. Oh, we did all those. Yeah. Yeah, but like now I'm here, so thanks, man. And I appreciate now, it. Now that you yeah, can we get a high jump too and a Karen? All eyes on chip. Oh, a kayak, kayak, a kayak, yeah, kayak, good. That was epic. I just felt like a mob boss. I joined and I told everyone what to do, and they freaking did it, dude. I'm the boss of this establishment. <laughs> You're the boss. Yeah, yeah. I'm the boss. Yeah, I like in the thanks, Godfather baby. when uh, Vito Corleone plays the Vine Boom sound and then has to go <laughs> to the rival uh, mafia's house and apologize. Chibli, I didn't want to put you on blast, but I haven't heard you talk much about your Costco membership lately. I've not been going, man. That's how they get you. I still have never yesterday. been to a Costco. You've never been inside of a Costco? Nope. What? When I, when I lived in New York, I was a BJ's guy. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and now I don't... I, I, I'm a single guy. That's true. Okay, I, so, like... Imagine like a massive nightclub, but like everyone is 45 years old and they're carrying a roast chicken. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds great. It's, it's very fair. Did you guys freaking see on Reddit someone posted a photo of a roast chicken, pure peri, uncooked, $32. <laughs> and then people Ooh, were like, yo, it's like $7.99 at Costco. It's like you can get a cooked one for like $12.99 here. Yeah. Imagine that. No frills. $32 for an uncooked crazy. roast chicken. Yeah, yeah but the so macros, crazy. bro. And that's yeah. supposed yeah. to be the discount chain. Yeah, no um, frills is like the cheapest place. Roast history chickens are my, uh, my, my trainer put me on that shit. He was like, dude, after you leave here, just go to like any grocery Costco. store, buy a roast history chicken, eat the whole thing. Damn. No, yeah, the macros are crazy. I've been a big macros guy recently. Same. Turns out it's hard when you're a vegetarian because every protein dense um, recipe is like 30 grams of chicken, uh, 50,000 grams of chicken, <laughs> yeah. uh, 300 grams of chicken. And it's like, okay, I'll just go fuck myself, I guess. No. Do you so get on the beans? Bro, you don't need that much protein when you're not doing uh, yeah. a, Olympic yeah. lifting. Okay, well, the issue I've had this realization. I get so tired every day. I think I'm like gonna die. Like oh, I think you have I'm anemia. dying. How tired I am! I am good. anemic. You gotta eat uh, a steak. <laughs> Any royalty? <laughs> I did have a banana this morning, and I have a lot of energy right now. So maybe it's the freaking banana. You gotta start cooking stuff in the in a cast iron. <laughs> oh, I do. I should. I do love a good cast iron. Chicken, spicy chicken sandwich, munchies box with goddamn mini tacos. Oh, oh, baby. Dude, I, tacos got beef in them, man. No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they chopped up hamburger in there, isn't it? Oh, probably, man. I wasn't looking. I was eating it. That's true. That's true. Oh, that, that you got a 906, box. Ryan? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Can we get a Jack in the Box action replay on that one? Oh, man. Did you strap on those boots from the original Super Mario movie? Per per perfect angle, perfect timing. I was tempted to get a Jack in the Box while I was just in Texas, but I resisted. Oh, a new world record in long jump is like. Oh, that's, that's the holy grail, man. Jumping the long way. M me when I was. In Apollo's house, jacking off what? on his toilet. I'm jacking in the box, <laughs> like in the bathroom. Okay. I probably Justin jack off list in Ryan. Justin went to jack off. Ryan doesn't strike me as a jack off. <laughs> Literally guy. just sitting no, here. I think he does because he never talks about it. Yeah, I mean, Ryan, stand up. Stand up, Ryan. I, well, my shorts are kind of riding up a little bit right now. Though. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah. He stood up off screen, dude. He did. Cause no, I got my headphone screen? cord is under my wheel. Oh yeah, okay. I got Laura Croft shorts on right now. <clears throat> I'm I'm rusty. I've been playing too much flashing lights, EMS, FD, and police response simulator. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I played that with Rob. I know. Like, I played that so with you my guys chat too. told me. It's such a good game. I put ten hours in it in the past two days. It's 
actually it's like good? kind of insanely but not good though. Yeah, it's yeah, but yeah. it's so it's fun to get in an ambulance and pretend you're helping the world, bro. I just remember I I think that a lady was a victim of crime, and then I went to go take her statement, and then she pulled out a gun and tried to kill me. So I had to, <laughs> I had to put her down on like the Santa Monica pier. That well, rocks. I don't play as the cops, so. Oh, that's my. Maybe that's the issue. You shouldn't have played a cop. Mm. I remember putting a I... ladder down and then climbing it horizontally on the ground or something like that. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that's that's a good feature. That's actually intended. Um, I will say though, so, and I can't believe I'm going to admit this online, but uh, I was I was wrong about I I, I finally saw old Bo Burnham's inside. It's great. I thought it's it was okay. good. You saw his inside. I enjoyed bro? it. What the hell? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I was hating on it. I was hating on Bo. I was wrong. Okay. I admit this. No, you can you can hate him. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, no, you can hate him now because he's um, making out with Phoebe Bridgers backstage at the Taylor Swift concert. That's cool. I didn't even did know you that. guys hear? Um, you freaked me. That when you said, "Did you guys hear?" That would have been a great time for the vine boom sound effect. I'm just telling you to be careful because <laughs> you, you try it. I, I, I've never. I don't even know where it is. I do love some good Mapo tofu. Oof. Scrum did yeah, 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 Mapo tofu rocks. I got us, and this is not meant to be an insanely hot take. It's just my opinion. I'm not saying we should remold the world in my image here. Wow. Well, I've eaten a lot of tofu in my life. I'm not that into it. Really? Yeah. I'll be the guy who says you just haven't had good tofu. I've had I've had all kinds. I've had I mean, to tofu. I've had hose in different area coats. Huh. Tofu's just a what the hell for other flavors. I think I'm. Uh, I give you yeah. a week. One Every of my time friends, I <laughs> one of my friends went to get a pipe cleaner for his uh, pipe, but they couldn't buy it at the dispensary because they had a $5 limit on the card, so he had to get some CBD gummies. <laughs> Flash forward to 10 hours later, and he had multiple near-death experiences, and that oh, was no. supposed to be like a light high. Um, I will CBD say, gummies? I saw all that, and it was very funny. However, uh, I had to talk on the phone for several hours one night with a friend who took they were delta eight gummies oh uh, that that shit's got the and devil they in sent it. him to hell <laughs> like i had to delta tell him several times not it. to call 911 i had to keep telling him this for hours and i think that shit is just uh they're putting you know some people are putting chemicals in that shit the they're putting delta the devil eight? in it is what <laughs> it's, <laughs> delta eight is definitely what that guy bought it's like fake weed yeah, it's like it's like remember it's K two spice and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's legal similar. in Texas. I was, I look, I'm not gonna lie, I was off the Delta Eight in Texas. Dude, I tried so much of it and it did nothing to me. And other it's people, like, <laughs> you need like eight thousand milligrams to feel anything. You need Delta Nine. <laughs> oh Chib, what a throw! Holy fuck! Oh Chib, <laughs> people, people are selling lots of what? shit and calling no it Delta way. Eight and CBD and grow yeah. up, Corey. What the hell? <laughs> Get a hobby, man. You just ruined my day. Nah, just kidding, Vine, buddy. Vine boom sound. Vine boom sound. No, 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 no. no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. okay. So, uh. The whole reason I sorry. The whole reason I went to Texas when I did was uh, Apollo was like, "Man, you don't want to come here in like a month when it's a hundred degrees out." But uh, I should have because I was there already when it was hundred degrees out, and it wasn't humid and it wasn't bad. Dude, but I was just in Texas, like, they're always dude. like, "It's the greatest place on earth." I would never move. And then when you're like, "Should I travel there?" They're like, "Yeah, there's a two week period when it's not like hell on earth." Well, it was horrific. It was it was like worse than Florida in terms of humidity. Really. It was so bad. That's hard. Oh, when you went now? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah like, humidity I, I would rather take 110 degrees again than that kind of humidity. Yes. Humidity is the killer. And that's yeah. why it gets so like horrible here. It gets so humid. This is all about the speed right, I'm going to make... A... No, no, no. Do it. Do make it, it man. No, I was going to say humidity's... No, never mind. I'm not making it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Make it. I want the humidity nuts. Take. Is that what I gotta you're know? No, I was gonna, I was, know. You know, it's a lot of gun violence. Fine, boom. Oh, wow, well, yeah, don't oh, do it. Like, don't do it. I know. I'm oh, just saying, yeah. humidity is not the killer. He did Wait, it. what's he the did killer? It. I missed it. He did. Uh, dead goats? I get it. Goats? Like the animals? What? 
Oh, I failed. Who the hell? Someone whispered in my earpiece and told me, uh, don't throw it. <laughs> yeah, way to kill the vibe, Mal. Yeah, what Mal, the hell? Are, <laughs> well, I thought, of, so I thought of another tweet uh, based around, but I, I, I wanted to do it, but I don't know. Okay, well, tell us. Doing it again? Okay, so I saw this guy the other day at Home Depot wearing a t-shirt. Um, fathers know a lot of stuff. Grandfathers know everything. And I was like, it's too bad America didn't have some grand founding fathers and then they were like, <laughs> it's, it's a they horrible known tweet to, like, do, not make, do not make the tweet it's I'm as your gonna. friend and confidant <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna go viral on t uh, twitter blue twitter bro I'm gonna go viral that shit's gonna go crazy on blue sky I, oh, man. No, blue sky's chill man I, the first time I opened it I saw a pair of boobs there was a perfect moment in time where uh, Foursquare was around, and so were internet-enabled juke boxes. Noob and, uh, boxes? Ju juke boxes? Juke ah. boxes? And friends of mine would uh, look on Facebook to see what bar everyone was at, and then queue up, like, hours of 311 songs. <laughs> it's like you'd just be sitting in the bar, and suddenly 311's playing, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Whoa. That's, that's not cool. It's extremely cool. <clears throat> No, that's actually really fucked up. Someone was probably trying to enjoy that night out. Yeah, no, I loved going to bars and putting bad things on the jukebox. Is that wrong? First recorded act of cyber terrorism in American history. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I somehow just double tapped the first one and it didn't even let me shoot the next one. <laughs> What's funny is, you would, I can go, you would. Uh, my Switch controller literally just fell off the back of a desk into a zone that I just had not access. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Until I moved the computer out of the way. So I'm going to go you do You live that. a life. I do. It's a tight corner up here. You would be a really good character in Rocco's Modern Life, I think. Nope. What about Rocky's Contemporary Life? Ah, nah, hey, Adrian, how do I change my phone background? Adrian! Yo, Adrian! Adrian! <laughs> uh, Apollo Creed Jr. So yeah, I had to move the stream PC to get to the controller, and the stream PC shut off. This is just well, a, well, it's well. a disaster. Well, well, well. Mr. Two st Computer Streamer Guy. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, he's not streaming now. He can say whatever he wants. <laughs> Oh, oh no, he, he, he holds all the power. We're all live. Nobody, there's there's a tweet in here for you, Chibli. You can make it. A no. woman sushi emoji? Okay, yeah, I'll send that one right away. <laughs> Could be good, though. Why didn't you post it? I had another great, uh, it's a TikTok idea for you, okay? It's just you filming okay. the ceiling with a light on the ceiling, and it would say, uh, POV, you are John McGinley Jr., uh, inventor of lead paint, about to die peacefully in your bed uh, with a lot of money surrounded by the family who loves you. Open parentheses. They didn't find out that the lead paint caused brain defects until 15 years later. That that's would work bad, really well for me because I've got mold on my ceiling, probably. It's perfect. What? Open a window, ding yeah. dong. When did the, when was lead paint paint popular? Like 200 years ago? When, when was <laughs> no, popular? It's like the like, 70s or like something. Like the 70s, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, okay, I'm good then. Mine's probably just made out of, like, excrement. excrement. I guess that was gasoline, mostly, right? Oh, yeah, I got gasoline paint. I'm gonna go talk to 3M and be like, let's get some Teflon paint. up." In yeah, here. yeah, so I could cook them on my walls. Cook It'll never wall. stick to the wall, man. It'll just it'll just roll well, on though, the Did you guys hear? Cool Apparently the some company came up with a way to actually get rid of forever chemicals. They're like, actually, they're not forever. They're just kind of long. <laughs> wow, what a, what an insight. <laughs> long Are you chemicals. trying to be honest? It's true. It's I true. It's true. No, it's true. The long way. The long way. chemicals. Justin, All you gotta do is. Are you coming back, Justin? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're doing trampoline. Dude, I should I should paint my walls with like bed liner. You know, like they put in the back of a truck. That'd be awesome. Who are you, Patrick Bateman? Yes. No! I'm Batman. <laughs> Wait, is he Batman? The actor is. Yeah, okay, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. You know how some people like to take, like, a bus and turn it into a house? Yeah. What if we took a house and turned it into a bus? Now you're talking. Mouth's moving castle. 
Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Well, he's doing really well on the trampoline. Let me drop you off here, King. <laughs> no, thank you. I fell over. What the heck is wrong oh, with this guy? He's really freaking. Well, what a finish to that trick. Who do you think hung up all the flags in the background? I hope they're getting paid a good wage. That seems like a hard job. It's probably, probably a forklift operator. A high skill level out there. I just keep putting one more oh. up there every bounce. This really could be I've fallen over <laughs> four times in a row. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That was good. I like that. There you go. Well, I might time for, out. That one's for you, check you. What the heck? Why did you see this one? Like it ended so early. Well, thanks very much for joining me. I love Jeremy, man. This is actually like 9 dumbest. seconds left. Man. I don't know, I did so bad and I always like win or tie for first. It, it, it's, it's actually like it makes no sense. I think that there's a chance that the first like it's seated by order that you join the lobby to some extent. <laughs> Oh, how the fuck, man. how would it be possible for Chibli and I to score the exact same? I, I literally fell over four or five times I in a row. I never fell over and I was in the middle of the trampoline like the entire time. I fell over many times. What? I, I it was very far from a perfect run. <laughs> I'm mad actually. One thing you gotta know about me, I'm a little bit dramatic, okay? I and I love lying. True. No, I love lying. That part's definitely true. It's not a foul! Like, hopeless. Oh, yeah, if you love lying, how tall are you? 6'4. How old are you? 26. <laughs> Wait, I'm pissed off. What happened? I went to one of those, uh, I went to one of those websites where they, like, just, like, data mine info about you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like, AC Justin is 5'10. I was like, what the fuck? What's wrong with that? Oh, I'm 6'2. Yeah, prove it. Mm, not anymore. I went to one of those websites too, and it said I drove a McLaren. <laughs> That's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, it did say I was yep. worth like a few million dollars, which is very fun. So I'm worth like, I'm doing pretty, yeah, like doing a, pretty good like for myself. Two hundred thousand dollars house. Two hundred thousand dollars, you can get a house. Yeah. Dude, what I was, the fuck? I was laughing. I did. Ben Schwartz tweeted like uh, in solidarity of the writers' strike, and then some blue check replied with like. Um, his celebrity net worth from celebrity not worth uh, net worth the biz and it was three million dollars and he's like oh i guess you don't have enough money and i'm like this dude's been in he's sonic the hedgehog motherfucker you think his net worth is three million dollars yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah also it has nothing to do with the argument at all. he's been famous for like 15 years <laughs> dude good on johnny depp 20 million dollar dior deal most in history <laughs> What the hell? Get what that kind bag, of Frederick. what what periodicals do you read? Hell <laughs> <This is my laughs> magazine, I think. I don't know. Reddit. I like go to like a subreddit one time, and then they're just like, "You have been here before," uh, so they put it on your timeline, and I um, hate that. The only <laughs> Dior ambassador I stand is Jisoo from Blackpink. Yes, and Che Young from Twice, right? Yep. I really like the song Fire by BTS. I thought that song was made by, um, by, uh, today I don't feel. Who's that guy? Doing anything. Machine Gun Kelly? No, who's that guy? <laughs> I just Oliver wanna Tree? lay in my. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Uh, Bruno Mars. What the hell? It didn't let me do my third jump. Oh, it's frick, I forgot. Yeah, I've been doing 230. That's bad, eh? Oh, oh you're screwed. <laughs> Chib's uh, high jumper was probably too busy thinking about what sushi she's going to order tonight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I feel like this is, like, so misogynistic, and I'm just trying to figure out how. Ooh, that's not misogynistic. <laughs> Your ass would tweet, women be shopping. For sushi? Women be mm, shopping for sushi? Didn't... Didn't deny it. Is that why it's called sushi? Hey, there we go. Now I don't know what Ryan's doing, but I don't trust him. What are you doing? I'm just doing the. How are you doing it so good? I'm just jumping, bro. I told you it's no, every day. It. But that I Disney know Channel so Logan Paul pilled. I'm a Jake big. Paul? I'm a member of the Low Gang. I would say. 
Didn't you um? You didn't you cry when he when he put on those color blindness glasses that killed his color blindness? Oh yeah. <laughs> Freaking. I never uh, saw that one. In fact, I haven't seen any of them. To no, be in the low gang, fast. you gotta have long balls. Mm, that's true. You would drink prime. I, I buy out the whole stock at the Real Canadian Superstore every time I see it, and then I sell it on Facebook Marketplace for eight dollars a bottle. Have you tried that stuff yet? No, I want to live. It tastes like fucking ass. Corey, why are you out here drinking Prime Energy? I was in a store and they had a sample. <laughs> Don't do that. What? <laughs> go go to a store? Yeah. I was in one of those. It was like an ass scene on TV store, looking at their weird. <laughs> I know in the Lowheed Mall. Off-brand, uh, like, exercise equipment that looks like it'll die if you use it. I don't know. Kevin O'Leary's all in on Prime, though, so... He seems like it. a good judge of character. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan. Wow. I set a new women's world record. Well, good, good Londoning. Okay. Yeah, good Londoning. Jimmy, if you wanted to play more London, you should have woken up at 4.45 a.m. New Zealand time, okay? Maybe we shouldn't have organized doing London at 1 in the morning when my ass is asleep. It was two it's days ago. Maybe your ass it was several days ago. had visions no. of sugar plums dancing in your head because Santa Claus is going to be there soon. No, I actually had a horrible dream. I had a dream that I was in my house and I looked outside and there was dead people everywhere. So oh I spent God. hours hiding in my house. And then when I fully looked out the window, I saw it was actually a movie set and they were recording a movie. And then I went out there and Mia Goth was out there and I said hello. Like the corn song? Yep, the corn song. <laughs> Dead bodies Yo, I, everywhere. I had a dream last week that Ryan regrew hair in front of me, and I was real upset. In front of you. <laughs> in front of you. He just started growing hair, and I was like, what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> Do you want to hear the most depressing thing ever? Yes. yes. I found I found a gray hair yesterday. That's not that depressing. Whatever. Yes. I keep finding them, man. It's over. I've been yeah, but I'm 26, bro. I'm 26. So am I. I got gray facial hair. I got a couple of gray chest hairs. I'm just waiting until I see Death? the first gray oh. pube, and then it's definitely over. Yeah, are you on the gray chest hair train too, bro? I, I got a couple steel wool threads in there. How That's about great. them shoulder? How about them shoulder hair? Shoulders are still going strong. Still natural brunette. Oh, that went gray first. Really? Brunette, That's so bats. funny. Dude, I would never take my shirt off ever again. <laughs> I, I don't. Shoulder hair room. is one thing, but gray shoulder hair, I could not. Yeah, it's kind of fucking brutal. That's Why don't you just hilarious. get LASIK? Do LASIK. Bro. Why don't you just shoot <laughs> lasers? <laughs> what, am I going to fucking see my shoulder hair better? No, dude. Get rid of it. The lasers kill the hairs. Uh, <laughs> it's really Good, uh, good London, good London. Good, good London. 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 I'm in the middle of a Tetris 99, so I can't leave. Yeah, well, Fine. good luck. Oh. Good luck. Good luck. See you, boys. Later, later, later. Love you. Oh, man. Kate, what, what, what am I going to do, okay? I need your guidance. Because the stuff that I have to do, I think is going to take, like, an hour and a half. Nobody talk in chat, okay? Let's just see what Kate's going to... She says, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what I think I should do, which is annoying for you. I think I should just go right now and make sure that it I get it done. But that might mean that if you come back, you might not be able to start your stream like right away. But you can always stream like a little later tonight. I have no idea how long I'm going to wait in the car. Oh, that's right. You got the car too. My ass is going to be cooking out there. She Shy, that's a that's like 12,000 steps round trip. Holy cow. I got to put some damn sunscreen on. Okay. I will I will I mean, why am I talking about this in Twitch chat? Well, cuz like I'm just cuz she's here. I'm going to end the stream P make a, a wrap as soon as possible, like within one minute, cram it down my gullet while I walk to the bank, get what I need to get from the bank, and then um, drop the stuff I need from the bank off where it needs to be dropped off and then walk home. Open the gift I got for you. I'll, I'll do it when we come back because we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of time, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done ASAP. What, what time is your Dokapone kingdom at? 
I don't wanna I don't wanna open your anniversary gift without you being here because I want to see I want you to see my reaction and I saw the business that you bought it from and I'm very excited. Whenever I get back. Okay. I will go ASAP then. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'll raid Justin for now. Just tell him not to get too attached, because as soon as I get home, if my wife is also home, I'm going to then type slash raid lovely Momo. I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if you can redirect a raid after it's already been raided, but... All right, see you. See ya. I'm going to go run those errands. See ya, see ya, see ya. Um, what is it? My libido's gone berserk. I don't want to go to work. I don't want nothing to eat. Driving up and down the street, but only two weeks ago. Two, three, you said you'd never leave me. Two, three, four, but here I am alone. One, two, then in this world of reckless happenstance, why do good things have to go away? Two, three, and leave you with nothing. Two, three, four, and she left me with nothing. If you know the word, sing along. Ah. You ever listen to Prozac, man? That was a song, dude.